What's good, my baby? This your girl, baby V, and I am back with another video. Like, this has been really a highly requested video. So, depending on how well y'all, you know, interact with this video, I will be continuing on. I left that light on in my car. I will continue on doing more of these videos. So, y'all about to come with me to the gym. Today is leg day. And you know we're about to get it in. I left something, so I will be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So, I had to go get my um microphones so I can do, like, so y'all can hear me in the gym, voiceover, whatever. Not a voiceover, but like just so y'all can hear me in the mic. I'm supposed to be ordering me some new ones so I can, you know, really get into it. Like, really get into it. Right now, I'm on my way to go get me a protein shake from the Nutrition Hub spot or whatever it's called. Get that in my system before I go to the gym. It's currently 12 o'clock. I'm actually late. I should have been there at like 11 a.m. or 10 a.m. But your girl is getting back in the group, okay? I haven't been going to the gym really early lately because... Mm -mm. my sleep schedule has just been crazy so number one key to going to the gym is get enough rest don't be like me get enough rest but uh i catch y'all at the nutrition spot so y'all i got my shake i got a turtle cheesecake turtle cheesecake caramel and um we're gonna try it out because it's my first you know time trying this specific shake out also the girl in there gave me like some tips on trying to become a trainer and stuff and so I don't even have to be certified to become a trainer to y'all. Your girl for to get into it for real because people didn't hit me up about training and all of that. And if you need a trainer, if you want me to train you and you in Arkansas, hit me up. I promise you. If you're serious enough, I will help you and I will get you, you know, the um the workouts you need, all of that. And we just gonna get yeah, we're gonna get you right. But I'm about to head to the gym right now and I'll see y'all when I get there. Right, we hear you guys. So I'm about to get ready to hit the floor. Um, I'm working out of my Crocs today, or no shoes, you know how I'm feeling. And we just finna get into it. Okay, y'all. It's time to stretch before we get into it. Oh, so today is leg day, glute day. I'm gonna work more on glutes today than I do anything. So what I like to do with my stretches. I like to start off with split stretches. So I'm gonna go like this, leg like this, and we're just gonna lean forward. And we're gonna get a good stretch in. It's gonna stretch all of this, like all of this, all of this is stretching right now. And we're just gonna hold it for like 10 seconds. So 10 seconds on each leg. Yep, I feel it. Oh, I feel it. Okay, and then what I like to do is use this hand, the left hand, go inside of my knee and push it. So we're gonna push it, we're gonna get a little more stretch. So that's like more. So we stretching the inner groin right here. All of this, we stretching it. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Yep. Yep. Then we're gonna go down like this, and we're gonna stretch, stretch under the hamstring. We stretch it under the hamstring and the calves. So we're stretching all of this right now. We're just gonna get into it, and we're gonna lean forward. And this is gonna like really stretch you out. Do it with me. Oh yeah. We're gonna hold for 10 seconds or however long you wanna hold, however long you need to stretch, do it. But this feels great right now. Thanks. I feel like a million bucks doing this stretch. And we're gonna switch over to the the next next leg. I'm gonna stop recording for now. Okay, so now we're on to the next stretch. We did both sides. Now I like to do like this. I don't know the name of this stretch, but I do it, so. And it works, so we're gonna get into it. Uh, it stretches like the calves, 
all of this. It just stretches all of this. So. I don't know if I'm doing it right, though. <laughs> We're going to go like this. Use the elbows, push out. Or if you want to, you could sit like this and push down with your elbows. So either one, either one works, y'all. And we're just gonna hold it for however long you want to hold it. We're gonna do that. And then I just like to do a little, you know, mobility a little bit with my legs. Cause I'm gonna really stretch them out. You know, you really gotta stretch your legs out. You don't wanna pull nothing while lifting these weights. You know? Oh. And sometimes I like to do the frog pose to get like ready for stretches and stuff. So frog pose is really good. Not too much of that though, because YouTube ain't finna demonetize me. I need all my coin, okay? All right, so I'm about to move on to the first workout. Okay, y'all, so we're about to work on calves right now. I'm about to move these because this is too heavy for me. We ain't doing that. We can't even do that right now. Got to work our way up. I'm going to leave a 10 on there because I can do 10. I can do 10, and I'm going to add a 5. And we're just going to put in that work. So with these, I like to do like four sets. Four sets, 15 reps. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Now, I really should have started with no weight for my warm-up, but it's okay. I can do that. But y'all start with no weight starting off with this machine. This is calf raises. So, yep. We're going to go down real slow, come up so you can see the movement. Boom. And I just like to go faster. Ooh, that burn. Ooh, 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 that burn. I like to look in the mirror, too. Look at my work. I feel like I'm getting there with the calf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all. Um, Now we're about to do some hip thrusts. One of my favorites, the grotto ass. Oh, grow the glutes, my bad. <laughs> We're growing the glutes with this hip thrust workout. Uh, this thing is heavy, bro. Oh, but if your gym has like a hip thrust machine, use that and don't use this because this is too much. I have to use this because we ain't got no hip thrust machine. Anyways, so what I like to start off with is 45. Of course, obviously, if you're just not getting in the gym. Okay, back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, so obviously you're not going to start off with 45. You're going to start off with, like, something lighter. I would recommend if you're starting with this, start off with a bar first, then make your way up to, look, we got 5, 10, 25, 45. 5, 10 is 45. 10, 25, 10, 25. is probably what you need to start with. And then you make your way up to 25, and then one day, 45. But what I'm going to do is I start off with two 45s for, like, a little warm-up. Then I'm going to add another 45 on each side. So we're going to have three 45s on each side. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So I got it racked up finally. It took like 10 years. But this is the setup for hip thrust. So what you want to focus on is elbows. You want elbows like your shoulder, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. No, this is not elbows. What is this? Shoulder blades. You want your shoulder blades on the edge of this chair. And you want to focus on what you're trying to focus on and targeting. So I'm targeting the butt, obviously. So how you want your legs, you want to position your legs in a good way. So if you're targeting hamstrings, you're going to bring your legs far out. If you're targeting quads, you're going to bring them in like this. 
And for glutes, you're gonna bring them just like this, right? We're gonna make sure everything copacetic over here. Have you one of these? Because the weights in this bar hurt. Hold the weight bar like this, and we're gonna push up, push up, chin, chin tuck, looking forward, and go up, down, up, squeeze, up. Mm. Oh, feel it in my butt. Mm. Oh man. Well, y'all I held it at the end, but you're supposed to do ten reps. We're going slow like that, really like you really feel it if you go slow like that. So um yeah, just go slow and control and hold at the end of your tenth rep. And do this three times. I give you three sets. Do three sets, 10 reps, or go down or whatever, up and wait. And yeah, I'm gonna finish off this. Gotta show y'all this pump. Look at this nice pump. That's a nice pump right there. That's what you get when you work hard on this butt. That's what you get. So stop playing. Okay, y'all, moving on to the next workout. I, I told y'all I was focusing on the glutes today, so that's what we're doing. We're on third workout. I did, what did I do? I did calves, I did hip thrusts. Now we're on the sumo squats. These are my favorite. I love sumo squats. So what you want to do is kind of get a, like a little heavy weight. You don't want to get too heavy that you can't handle. Me, I'm on 55 right now because, you know, I'm that girl. I'm that girl. So... You know, I'm working with this. How you want to do your sumo squat? You want to get in a wide stance. You can start like this and do your feet like this. Boom, 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 boom. So you want to get wide. I'm going to get wider because <laughs> I like to feel it for real. So we want to get this wide. Sumo, you know how a sumo wrestler is? Like they be wrestling. So that's what we do. You want to grab the weight. You want to get down in your squat stance. Pick it up. Keep your back like this. Chin tuck, don't look up. And go down. One. Slow and control. Squeeze at the top. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Ooh. Eight. Nine. Ten. Drop. You want to do this. You want to do like three or four sets of that. Do 10 reps so you can really feel it. It's for like hip adduction. You know, if you want a round booty and not just, you know, perk up, you do some muscle squats because it's for the outside glute area. And you just keep it pushing. I'm about to do three more sets of this and I'm going to get back with y'all. Okay, y'all. Now we're about to get into RDLs, another glute workout. Um, so we want to start off with two ways. Um, I prefer getting something light because I'm on 27.5 and like it be killing me. It be killing me for real. So with RDLs, it's kind of tricky to even explain. But the whole movement is, come over here, come over here, right there. The whole movement is. Having your feet shoulder length apart. Grab the weight and you're gonna move, you're gonna push back with your hips. So you're gonna reach down slow. You see how I'm pushing back? It's not a bend down. So push back. So push back, hips, hips, hips. You're gonna go down right here. Pull up, squeeze. So let me show you. Down, 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 up, one. You want to keep the weights real close to your legs. Up. You want to do 10 reps. Or how many ever you can do. Feel 
the burn. Now, sometimes people feel it in their back because they're not doing it right. It takes time because it took me some time, but I'm getting there. Oh, okay. That's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to do. Because you got to get the form right with RDLs. It's not just something that you're going to get right off bat. So, you know, that's really for advanced people. But if you want to give it a try, give it a try. Okay, y'all. So this is the last exercise for the group of the day. Kickbacks. Okay, so I got to bring this all the way down. Mm. Bring it all the way down here. Because you got to, you want to attach your ankle thing to thing to thing so you can do the thing. Take this off, because this is bullshit. We don't need this. This is not upper body day today. We're not even. Um, let's see. I got an anchor strap. I'm going to put this one on. Ugh. Now, with kickbacks, y'all, they can be tricky. I ain't going to lie. They can be really tricky. I put that on backwards. They can be real tricky. So... I got, you can get these off of Amazon. Everything that I got, you can get off Amazon. Uh, I probably put the links to everything in my bio, so just check my bio for it, or description, not bio. Okay, what you want to do is you want to clamp this on. Put on, like, a lightweight. I'm going to start off with uh, 15, because this, your, your ankles are not that strong. Your ankles are not that strong. You got to build them up to get that strong. So, how you want to do the form for this is... The easy way to do it is to hold on to this. So, hold on, bend over a little bit, come out a little bit, and there we have it. Keep back. Something's wrong with my ankle, ankle strap. <laughs> it's the wrong with my ankle strap, bro. It will not stay where it's supposed to be. Okay. Let me try to show y'all at least one real. Cut. Just cut. <laughs> Okay, y'all, we're back in action. Oh, I ain't even recording anything. Okay, y'all, so I, I forgot to uh, get my microphone on, on this part. But this is how you do the donkey kickbacks. I finally got the anchor strap on. We're going to go slow and control like this. Slow and control. You want to kind of bend over a little bit so you can feel it in the butt area. If you're not feeling in the butt, you're going to feel it in the back, and that means your form is not right. So get your form right and start off with no weight first before you get into the donkey kickbacks. I'm just going to do like 10 reps, 3 sets on each side. 10 reps, 3 sets on each side. You go up and wait if you feel like you need to go up and wait and it's too light. So you can really, really like, you know, get some type of results. Um, and you're just going to keep, you know, working on your form. Everything is about form. So make sure you have a good form. There you go. All right, y'all. So that's basically like the end of all the little glute exercises that I have for y'all today. Next video will be more, you know, I don't know. I think this video was good. Uh, but next video will probably be back or chest or whatever y'all want to see. But we're not done just yet. We got to hit the Stairmaster. So after every like leg exercise, you want to do some type of um, cardio for like the core area. I don't got no core for real right now, but uh, I do got a core. I don't got no abs for real, and I'm working on some abs. But we're about to hop on this one right here. Cause this one look like it's working, so we're gonna hop on this one. I'm gonna do stairmaster. I'm gonna show y'all, you know, just basically what a stairmaster is. If you don't know, I'm gonna press go, and um, you can change the levels if you like slow, real slow. You can go real slow on level zero. Me, I'm going to go up to level seven. And we're going to work on here for like 15 minutes. Let's get the legs. And this is going to finish off your workout. But if y'all like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe to my channel, click that bell. And I'll catch y'all in the next video, you girls out.